I'm talking big. You could keep all your stuff here and your mom wouldn't get mad at the mess and make you clean it up even though you did it just last week and... Uh, oh, well, here's our story. Ah, another wonderful picnic on the Amazula River. Hey, careful, Bula. You need both hands free when you board a boat. What did you say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch whoa, out! Whoa, whoa. Bula, too. <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Why did the boat move by itself? Actually, the boat didn't move by itself. It moved because Bula pushed it. He applied a force to it. What force? Bula was just trying to get on board. Let's see if the Maltopedia can help us understand what happened. A force is a push or pull on an object, like this car. Force can make things move, or change direction, or speed up, or slow down, or stop. But what happens if your cart gets heavier? Um, you call for help? Yes. Why? Because you need to push harder. Your cart needs more force to get it to go the same speed because now it has more mass or stuff in it. And the more force you apply, the faster the object will speed up or accelerate. That rule is called Newton's Second Law of Motion, named after Sir Isaac Newton, the scientist who first described it. How come it takes so much force? Well, it's like the object itself is pushing back at you. An object with more mass or stuff in it will push back harder, so you have to push harder to make it move. Whenever two objects act on one another, they apply equal and opposite forces to each other. That's Newton's third law. If Bula jumps down just a little on this trampoline, the trampoline will push back up just a little. But if he takes a big jump down, Whoa! he gets a big bounce up. Or to put it another way, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, Bula's foot applied a force to the boat when he stepped on it. And that force moved the boat away from the dock resulting in what we scientists call a big sploosh! Clyde, get a move on! Um, madam, forgive me for asking, but isn't this ship a little too big for the river? Oh, tish tosh, Clyde. Big ideas call for a big ship. And Deliria Luxury Cruises is my biggest idea yet. Besides, the larger the ship, the more paying victims. Oh, I, I mean, valued customers. I can cram in. Now, drop it in the river. <laughs> oh! Now, all aboard! Welcome to Deliria Luxury Cruises, where our motto is, no refunds. We're ready to launch. Aye, aye, Captain. Avast the starboard and blubber the poop deck. Oh, my. I love boaty talk. I wonder what kind of force is going to make the boat move. Maybe the wind will blow it forward. 
but it's not windy. Hmm. Oh! Ooh and Zeter pull the oars backwards to apply force to the water. And the water pushes back with an equal and opposite force to move the boat forward. Hey, that's Newton's third law. Excellent deduction, Withy and Wig. And that reminds me, Gorga? I thought it would be even more relaxing if nobody had to row. So I had Gorga bring along a motor. All right! Rev that baby up and let's boogie! Wow! The motor makes the boat go a lot faster than rowing. That's because the motor applies more force than Zeter and I could. Oh, yeah! The more force you apply, the faster the object will speed up. Or to put it in another way, it takes force to move an object, speed it up or make it slow. It can be powerful with just the push or pull. Go anywhere you want to go. Let's say your object's moving slowly and you want it to move quick. You'll need an increased force from a stronger source to move a moose or a hockey stick. That's Newton's laws of motion in action. You call this a luxury cruise? My room is the size of a closet, and we're sleeping ten to a bed. Oh! And what about the bathrooms? The sinks are just painted on the wall. Then you advertised fancy food, but we're all splitting one peanut butter sandwich. Um. People, people! Now isn't a cruise all about sharing? Hey, get your own! Anyway, lunchtime's over. Now, it's fun time! We'll start with a game! Everyone lists the ten most fabulous things about me! What on Zula is that? This is a job for the Zula Patrol. We appear to have company, madam. Delirium, pull over. You're putting everyone on the river in danger. Ugh, it's the Killjoy Patrol. Floor it, Clyde! Ignore them, everyone. Merely, um, colorful local fishermen. <laughs> Hard to port! <laughs> Starboard! No <laughs> surfboard! Overboard! No, no! Sorry! Over there. Ah! Ah! Don't worry, fun seekers. This is all part of our new exercise program. We've got to somehow get Delirium's ship out of that whirlpool. If we apply a force to the ship, we can change its direction. Good thinking, Wizzy. Gorga! <laughs> Now who's going to help us? It's sure not Deliria. She must be rushing off to buy us a thank you card. You know, Zeta, a force can be a pull as well as a push. Good idea. Let's let Deliria apply some force to pull us out of this. We're being pulled free! The pulling force is working! <laughs> oh, the line's cut! Lloyd, shake off those pesky patrollers! <laughs> Master Clyde, they're still following us! Madam, are you sure that's wise? There's a sharp turn up ahead! Just do it, Clyde! <laughs> was an excellent example of Newton's third law. When Delirious ship hit those rocks, they applied an equal and opposite force to the ship, 
causing it to stop. The stopping force was applied to the ship, but not the passengers. Looks like they kept going. Wait, wait, come back. There's more games. Uh, please, it's time for face painting. Uh-oh, Deliria's ship is wedged in like a giant plug. The river water is rising behind it. Oh, dear. If the water rises much more, the river banks will flood. We've got to move the ship, but it's jammed against those boulders. Hmm, let's see. Newton's third law tells us that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Look! The boulders are held in place by a bunch of smaller rocks. And those rocks are held in place by these stones and pebbles. So if we pick just the right pebble... It's working! By removing the boulders, the force of the river's flowing water is pushing the ship downstream. Yeah! <laughs> Attention! Tickets are now available for the next delightful Deliria Luxury Cruise. <laughs> Those tickets are now half price. Can't you row any faster? I'm trying, madam. <laughs> After all that excitement, I'm starving. But our picnic basket went down with our boat. <laughs> Gorga saved it! Yay! Fruit salad for everyone! Fruit salad? I love fruit salad. Maybe I can get Mom to make me some. If I clean my room. Hello, science seekers, and welcome to the Molto Moment. Do you remember what a fourth is? A big animal that cowboys ride? Not quite. A fourth is a push or pull on an object. Right, Zeta? One pushing force coming up! A fourth can make an object start moving, change direction, speed up, slow down, or stop completely. Forces come in pairs. And for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Like our reaction to Teskey's not-so-funny jokes. Oh, my. Well, see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>